Hey, this is Adam with the Medic X21, and I'm doing a quick review on the Arctic Freezer A11. I got mine for an AMD A86600K uh, because I noticed that when I overclocked a little bit with the stock cooler, it was getting too hot for my like, and I decided to try a different cooler. I got this one for about $25. Installation was fairly easy. I just pulled the stock cooler off, cleaned off the heat, the thermal paste, and you can see the four pieces that I put on there. Pop the two. Um, alignment brackets there. Make sure that you're facing the right way. You'll see that the angle is a little like horseshoe almost. Um, you want to make sure that the angle is the right way. Um, you just put the four screws in. They don't need to be super tight at all and they screw right into the bracket on the other side that you have already had on when you had your um, previous heat sink already installed. Um, you'll notice here that on one side the fan clips to it, the other side it does not. Make sure that there's room for the fan to fit it because when you put this on, uh, mine wouldn't fit because my RAM was too long. So make sure you line it up right. Manufacturer recommends that you put three dobs of uh, thermal paste on. I tried it multiple ways. I tried it with the thermal paste in one spot, three spots, a line. I noticed no difference on my temperatures. In fact, I actually noticed that there's really no difference in my temperature between the stock cooler and this cooler. My uh, cold, cold temperatures, my under, not under low temperatures were about 10 degrees cooler, but my on low temperatures were, were the same temperatures. They, it was not cool, um, not any cooler than the stock cooler. Fan pops on, the fan is very quiet, which is nice um, in comparison to the stock cooler. But again, I was trying to get lower temperatures and this just didn't do it for me. Um, it is large, it's nice, it's fancy, it's cute looking, um, but it certainly didn't provide any more benefit than over the stock cooler. So if you have the stock cooler, stick with the stock cooler. Um, if you don't have a stock cooler and you're trying to get something that kind of looks neat and it does at least achieve the temperatures that the stock cooler does, then go ahead and get this one. It, for me on Newegg, it was less than $25. Um, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Go ahead and give me some comments, improvements, and let me know. But certainly don't forget to subscribe.